Okay, let's see if I can explain to you. This piece is like a insulated board, whatever it's called. It was in the truck and the trim piece, the plastic piece that goes in, in like on the on the side, it goes here pretty much, but it goes attached to the floor and then this one goes on top of it. So it was gonna sit right below. So what we did, I trimmed this one the same width as, the, as this one, so I can raise it up or what's gonna be like right below it. I don't know, I don't know if I can show you. But it was like, like this. So there was no no way to raise it and I had to finish the floor here, which I didn't have any space and it's gonna it was gonna look ugly. So we cut this one, so I was able to raise this one up. What I did, I put a little piece of the PVC board to raise it up. That should be enough. And also this piece used to do the, the, the same uh, curvature as this one right here. So this was sticking up right here and it was gonna be on the way of the floor. So I also trimmed that little piece. Once I did that, I put this piece right here. We put this piece back in place. Let me see if I can put it in place. There you go. good enough to show you like this and then we just put up the, the trim piece the next wood piece right here no it's not the one okay this one right here we put it inside there and then we see it here and you'll see once everything is screwed down to the floor and everything it's gonna look way better Instead of finishing the wood right here, it's gonna be like right underneath. And I'm gonna put a couple bolts. I'm gonna play with the levels to make this look a little bit nicer. But I had to mention that because that that's gonna be way better instead of trimming around this piece. Now it sits on top. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue on the other side. Okay guys, I wanted to show you how it's gonna look in the final as i told you i would have to raise this up and this is the way i was able to make it look um as you can see there's a little gap here i couldn't do any better than this because here it's actually touching make sure you use plenty of glue in this section because as you see on the on the other floor I did this um, how you call it uh, change of direction was made in the middle of the board so I just had to score the board a little and bend it in this case it actually happened to to be at the seam at the joint so you you make sure in these pieces you put plenty of, of glue otherwise it's gonna come apart so i just wanted to mention that guys okay and this is how it's gonna look pretty much out here in the edge you can see it's gonna look pretty decent we have to do a couple of adjustments on this piece and this one as well but almost like it was meant to be there Another thing I have to mention, when you are in tight places like in this one, that you're not able to lift the board in order to the for the joint to fit properly, what I'm doing is, if you see here in the board, this is the actual thing, that, the actual height that has to go underneath the other board. If you just shape this bump to make it flat, it should slide right in. So that's what we're doing here because I don't have any um, clearance to lift it up and, and make it able to to clip right. So I'm gonna show you now. So here it is, it's almost flat. I'm gonna give it a try like this. 
Um, after this, you just have to shave it down with any a utility knife or anything. I use my personal knife, my pocket knife. It worked out pretty good. Let's give it a try. So there it is. It went right in. Perfect. As you can see, I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to lift it up to see if it moves. It clipped pretty good, so it should be okay. As I said, the only place it's moving is right here, as you can see. So make sure you put plenty of glue and let it sit. Alright, let's go to the other side finally and finish it up. Okay guys, so here's the other side. Um, this is what we had to do in order to make it fit nice and neat. Um, at the beginning I was going to finish the wood right here. But I end up, um, I don't know if you can actually notice, shaving this a little so it kind of matches the uh, the the curvature on the actual floor and the wood floor if you see here if you notice here there's a gap i'm gonna try to raise it up a little bit to to make it fit nice and, and neat there i'm gonna remove this piece so you can actually see uh this fit this piece i had to to remove the little grommet that has here underneath here um, it's gonna be raised like probably half an inch or so. So what we have to do is to drill it again and put the the little rivet or whatever it's called the the little tab. So here it is. Um, you cut out around the cables and. You gotta score this one right here when there is the change of, of angle. Score it as I as I did on the other uh, wood floor. You just score it, you don't go all the way through and you bend it. And um, cut around here so it goes further up. And this piece will go, should fit nice and, and properly. I just didn't put them all together because I was uh, make sure everything fits good. And here it is that's what i wanted to show you i'm gonna have to put this piece of the half inch pvc at the beginning i was gonna just leave it as is you know go straight to the aluminum but then when i saw that i needed to to fit this angle right here so that's when i decided to put this i'm gonna cut it all the way from you know from side to side make it look nice and neat um and then i might have to put something else to raise it like another quarter of an inch so i can close the gap I'll show you the finished result in a minute. So here's the final product. I hope you guys like it. This is how we finished it here. You see, it looks nice and clean all the way around. Everything fitted pretty good. Like right here, there was like a little grommet or washer underneath this plastic we have to shave it off but everything else fit as it should and we end up putting floor here on this part it was really easy to do all you have to do is just to cut the carpet cut it on the bottom get it with a knife score it with a knife get it and then you just pull it out and it will come out in the in the the wood floor, the vinyl floor, floor would, would fit perfect. So here is the final product. We're gonna install now the the seats, the boxes, the fridge, and I'll do a little a little video uh, when everything is up in place. Now we gotta do the hole behind the boxes, one inch uh, below where the where they were originally so everything fits perfect but i we just went to miami star and they sell a pre prefab um wood floor you just toss it in there but you can get the same results as if you do it by yourself because like right there all around there it's gonna be cut out and it doesn't fit all the way to the edge the same over there we just looked so it's it's even better if you do it by yourself because that way you can control everything 
make sure that all the fittings, all the ends, I'm sorry, fit perfectly. You see? So there it is, guys. So here is the final product on the wood floor. As you can see, it's nice all the way around, all the edges, nice finished. Way better than the ones that you can buy pre-made for your truck. The boxes and everything up in place. We just gotta do new holes on the boxes to raise them up uh, like an inch, but everything fit perfect. And the only thing that we notice that there's a little gap there because the the floor is uneven right there. So we, we're gonna go and get some brown caulking and put there, or maybe just a little piece of metal just to cover that up. But everything else is fine, as you can see. The plastic uh, fitted perfect. I didn't have to shave around the door as I as I thought. Uh, we use the sail, the soft tapping screws, and there was like a little ring underneath that plastic, so we just kind of shaved it, so it sits flat on the new floor. That's what we had to do there. As you can see, hoses come out of the plastic. Everything is perfect. Everything in place. We got these new brass, brand new seats. Um, I think it's the new model from seat, the Pinnacle version, and they're pretty nice. They they even come with this um, cover because I got the Legacy. I believe it's the Legacy of my truck, and it doesn't come with this. You have to buy it separate. This come with this, and it it tilts to the front, so when you get tired like from hanging your legs you just tilt it to the front and you can get your legs to to, to take a break to rest a little bit but um, there it is guys everything fitted perfect as you can see here also these balls we have to get a new one inch longer same with the same thread everything everything is in open place i'm pretty happy with the result i don't know what you guys think so there it is guys, thank you. Uh, like, subscribe, share, I hope it helps. And I'll see you on the next one.